Hello folks, uh, this is Hescon Spy, the spy will come to you live for Star Wars Dots for Republic, the Sith Lords, for the final time, depending on how well the storage of my, um, of my recorder can be able to keep up, so it depends on how long the duration this one's going to be, because this one's going to be something you don't want to miss. So now, uh, in this uh, episode, we're going to be uh, going to the Treya's core, which will be mean with Kreia, a former companion, and also uh, the mastermind of this whole thing. If we do not stop her here and now, then the Force will die, and possibly the Force-sensitive's innocent people could die with it because of the echo that that Kreia is creating. Now there's a lot of explanations to why she's doing this, but we don't exactly have a lot of time to cover that up. Suffice to say, if she succeeds, then the good people that is force sensitives, including the bad, will, will be killed on the spot, which includes any potential Jedi. So right now, we can't let that happen. Also, um, from the uh, I was able to get two lightsabers. One of the lightsabers belongs to Kray used to belong to Kraya, but I was able to able to get it and to remodify it. And this lightsaber is the one that Atrus gave me before we left to to defend Telos from the Sith attack invasion. So right now, this is it. This one is for the Ebon Hawk, my crew, my friends, the Jedi Council, and the ensign of the people that was placed in danger because of this nonsense that's been going on for 10 years. It's time we finish this in the old fashioned way. Student versus Magister. Good versus evil. Dark versus light. Sith versus Jedi. Saving this. Four sides. You've always been uh, remaining neutral, and I can never figure out why. And now I know why. You were a Sith Lord all along. The betrayer. Even though the words I spoke about the companions on the ship is what's been said, you knew how my true feelings were. And what you could have done if I bring my friends here with me in this place. But now, they're gone because of me, because of what I've done, and because of you. I'm going to rectify my crime, and I'm going to earn my redemption by saving the galaxy as Revan has gone a spy once did. Kreia! I am here! And as you can see, I am not dead. Malgor has not even changed one bit. Only you have? There is much I must ask you.
Why did you destroy Atreus? But I never thought uh, that uh, she would have these such feelings. Listen, Kreia, the Academy Hero won't last. Because of what Remote has done before the Ebon Hog had gone crashing down, I can now activate the Mass ge Shadow Generator again, and this time, this place, the Academy, this goddamn asteroid, will be destroyed for good this time. Why have you done all this? Oh. A dead spot in the force, an emptiness in which its will might be denied. Nice try, Kreia. You've almost tricked me when you say I might be the death of the force, but because of what Phesus has showed me, what she has spoke about before, gone to Telos, I'm not such a thing as you thought me to be. If you truly hate the force, Kreia, why use it? You were mimicking me this entire time from the very beginning on Prague since Paragus. The Sith Lords, Nihilus, and Sion. So the story that you told me about, those two were the ones that exiled you. You wanted revenge on the Sith and Sion? Why me? Bullshit. There's nothing special about me to begin with. But there were other Jedi you could have chosen. Other Jedi that didn't exactly believe in the Order. It was a mistake to try to make you 
so that you could use me to get what you really want to this very moment. You knew this confrontation would happen. You spoke about it this much. So what happens now? will answer for every single betrayal and every deception. My companions and the people was able to make sure their actions was able to pave me a way to make this point. Bedor used his last sacrifice to atone for his sin, and now I will do the same thing by defeating you, but I will not fight you. Listen, Kreia. I will activate the Mass Shadow Generator again, only this time, this place is going to HELL? Talk of sheep and threats. If you would end Malakor, then do it. But it will not be a victory for you. Your people will be destroyed. Your friends. My friends? They're alive? Like Revan had already failed you. If I must, I will. You must be stopped because what you're doing is wrong. Humor me, please. Malakor has not changed one single bed, uh, Kreia, only you. It's not too late, Kreia. I could save you only if you let me. We do not have to fight. Sure. The tomb on Corban, it has showed me visions, mostly about my past and Mountain Mandalorian Wars but about the present and near future. It showed me you of what you were. I always knew that you were a Sith. I knew that you were a Sith all along, but you were exiled like I was. So maybe I thought that if, if you've been exiled, then maybe there shouldn't be a reason to not have you with me. But I needed you, but you know this. And I needed answers, but you know this. You will answer for every betrayal and every lies and deception. Let us finish this once and for all. My old master. Frosty style! Chuyom! This technique I hear to do from one of my masters. Kavar. Wars immune team. Energy VC stuns. Give me a minute. I'm not ready to fight you quite yet. Burst speed. Force of Alarm! 
Force enlightenment. Force sides. Stimulates. Let's go, Crayon! Here's one from Aggression Ataru, trained by me from Fork himself. Force Wave. Stasis? Shit. Marshy. Master Force Scream. If you want to keep doing that, I'm going to use Force Mute Team. Advance for lightsaber. This one is for my masters and for the lives of the galaxy you've betrayed and killed. Even me and to my friends. Kreia, surrender. You don't have the dime. I'm not sure if you know this, Kreia, but I'm tired of killing. I'm tired of death. And I'm done listening to your lies. I am a Jedi now. I am not the death of the Force. I'm like Revan, one of the hard beatings of the Force. I will not strike down a defenseless opponent. Your life is yours. And you will fail, Kreia. I already told you I won't kill you. <laughs> that is pretty awesome to see those phone lightsabers. Oh, by the way, I got something to show you. My new style. Double lightsabers. Drew Frosty style. You see this lightsaber, Kreia? This green lightsaber used to belong to you. I will use this uh, to defeat you. And this lightsaber was given to me uh, by Atris, the same one that was given that I used in the Mandalorian Wars. Fans throw lights.
One down, two to go. Determination, teach home! Burst the speed. Toro style, aggression mode. So weird to fight floating lightsabers. And this is Star Wars, who gives a shit? Freya, there's still time to save you. I'm not giving up on you. Not yet. Future. Okay, I will use this gift. I got many questions. What well, about my friends from the Evan Hawk? Are they alive? What would have become of them? Mandalore. I'm glad that I'm happy to know that Mira will use this, but it'll be sad if that would be her fate. And Mandalore. Clan of Ordo. Mandalore is Kendra's Ordo. I knew all along. What about the Mandalorians? They will die a death that will last millennia until all that remains is their code, their history, and in the end, the shell of their armor upon the shell of a man too easily slain by Jedi. And Thesis, what of her? What is her future? The blinded one shall return to her home world, and as she looked upon you, she shall look upon the surface of that world, and perhaps at last see what she was meant to see. I do know that you must leave her behind, for you are destined to must not take any of her love. It was Revan's choice as well. Revan. 
Revan's choice. I knew it. You knew what happened to Revan. You knew where or why Red Levin, Revan left. But I'll ask that later. And Brianna. I'm glad that she will take up in that role in that, kind of. She will be a great Jedi Master. But what about Anne? What becomes of him? And you? And I guess you show that same kind of affection of love towards Revan. And what about Bador and the droids? What becomes of them? Is is Bador alive still? Revan, he did came here, did he? He was here? Scion told me about oh, what happened to him, but only very little. What happened to him? Why did he leave his friends? Why did he leave Basila? But we just fought the Sith? Why? Why would he uh, need to do such a thing? Why did you not follow him if what you speak is true? About the Republic? The Republic will fall as it always has. A fall that will take millennia under the care of the Hermes of Ithil. The surface of Telos will bloom again, and its golden fields shall again harbor scientists and thinkers. Because I was able to help the Ithorians? Tell me about Dautuin. That's great news.
and Nashada. I guess that's good news. But what about Andron and Duxon? I knew she would. And tell me about Corban. My allies, what of them? All right, Kraya. I think I've heard about just enough now. If what you say is true, I know what I must do next, if I can. But you were right from before. I cut myself off of the force uh, at the time because I was afraid. I was afraid that I would die. I was afraid I wouldn't be able to live. To have a future. And because of what I did, the Sith was able to learn what I've done and was the, how, how we end up in this position state. Kreia, your time in this place is over. You were always been my teacher. And you've done so much. And you never have gotten any rest because you prepared my future and you did all of this test, all of these things, despite what you have put me through, despite what you have done and the atrocities of deception. You did it because you wanted me to have a future for the galaxy, the Republic, even. Perhaps the Jedi have the future, despite your personal feelings about the Force. It was all to test me here. Kraya. Jedi Master to Revan. And Jedi Master to me. Be in peace. And rest now. Oh man. Looks like I'm about to die. The Ebon Hawk! It lives! <laughs> Alright, now let's get the hell out of this godforsaken asteroid. It's gonna be close. Goodbye, Malcor 5. Be forgotten and destroyed. It's over. But this is only the beginning to a place beyond the Outer Rim. Well, folks, that's pretty much it for now. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the Star Wars Knights of the Republic, the Sith Lord series. And I'm glad that you guys were able to stick around and be able to support and and hang around and until right up to this very moment. Now, um, there are a couple of some things I'm going to need to get down uh, to the point here. Now... Since that I finally managed to be able to complete this series, which was, thank God, by the way, <laughs> I won. I'm going to be taking a long after 
I'm going to be taking a long break uh, before beginning another series. The Re Star Wars, the, Re the, the Republic Commandos. So, I hope you guys will be able to stay tuned for that. And I'm not going to tell you when I'm going to be able to get back into pro producing more videos again. Because I don't know when, because I've been having problems with my own end of getting things settled and with my personal life what goes on into the country right now <laughs> so um i hope you guys will be able to be sticking around until i'm ready to get started with the star wars uh, the republic commandos because it's going to be something you don't want to miss. When that will be happening, I don't know. But then, well, now, after I cut from this video, um, I'll be doing an announcement that's going to probably like soon that you definitely want to stay tuned for. So it's going to be something important that you guys need to stick around to uh, be ready to listen. So right now, um, I want you to tell you guys how much I appreciate that you guys uh, enjoyed my videos of the old uh, KOTOR notice the Star Wars Knights for Republic and then the KOTOR 2 which is the uh, Star Wars Knights for Republic the Sith Lords this is one of my favorite oldest games that I'm glad to be able to show this off to you guys and was able to do this with you so I hope you guys uh, enjoy and love the the videos of the Star Wars Dots of Republic I got in my channel and this uh, Sith Lords here it's really an inspiration that you guys want to be able to urge me to continue on and I'm sorry that there have been some cliff um, some cliffhangers of complications but we're able to make it through it so right now, um, I'm going to need to let you guys off now. So um, so stay so stay tuned for the announcement of the of the important announcement. So this has gone spy the spy sign up from Star Wars. I was for public the Sith Lords for the final time, and and always wear a mask and don't do drugs. <laughs>